coming to you from Yonkers Raceway, where the sport of choice is rapidly becoming boxing, where we're swinging on the star. And another cordial welcome to Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. I'm your host, Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal, joined, as I often am, by our boxing analyst, Steve Farhood. Welcome once again to the Star. My pleasure, Arnie. We're swinging on it, as they say here at Star Boxing. Tonight, our main event, Carmine Tufano, undefeated, comes in, taking on a very tough fighter in Aaron Fletcher. And the thing that's going to be tough is Fletcher, six foot four for 168 pounder. I don't have a lot of comparisons for that, do you? On, I've never heard of a super middleweight being six foot four. I've heard of light heavyweights. There was a guy, Michael Spinks fought, Von Zell Johnson, a couple of other guys. Six foot four for a 168 pound fighter. That is the tallest super middleweight I've ever heard of. Well, Carmine Tufano, although he's undefeated, is going to have his work cut out for him tonight. And one of the things that you have to look for is Tufano has been the eight round distance several times. Not exactly the case for his opponent. No, Fitchett hasn't been more than four rounds. That's a big advantage for Tufano. Look for Tufano to remain undefeated tonight, Arnie. That's your prediction? That's my prediction. Pretty Steve, bold, huh? <laughs> Uh-oh, Steve's going down on it. We're going to have our opening bout on the star after these words. Stay with us. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. I'm Juan Tufano, I'm super middleweight, and I'm 14 and 0. I first got into boxing, I always wanted to fight since I was young, and around when I was about 14, 15 years old, I saw an advertisement on a, a wall in my school, and uh, I just went down to the gym and started working out. Gene Moore, my manager, he, uh, he started working with me, and then he brought me to uh, Pete Brodsky, and he trained me up until my last fight. The worst part about boxing is so many ups and downs, disappointments. You think you get in this fight, you don't get it. When I'm training for a fight, I'm just thinking about my opponent, what I have to do to win. When you're in the ring fight and it's already too late, you don't have time to think. It has to be already in you. If you have to think about it, it's too late. If I had to tell you something about boxing, I would probably tell you that it's definitely the hardest sport in the world, and you got to love it to be in it. My goals of boxing is the same as anybody else's to be champ of the world. I think I'm working towards that, and I'm ready to fight better competition on the way to the, to the championship. All right, back at ringside. That's Carmen Tofano, undefeated, 14-0, seven knockouts. Comes from all over Long Island, East Meadow, Levittown, Ron Kakama, went to Sachem High School out there. Comes out of that well-known Westbury PAL gym. You've seen Darren Zenner out of there and Raphael Williams. His opponent trying to make his way to the ring in what we call the horse walk here at Yonkers Raceway <laughs> on Star Boxing. We're waiting for Aaron Fitchett. Fitchett will be bringing in a seven and one record, four draws. A lot of draws for a very early career, almost sounds like a hockey record. And he's got five knockouts, stands six foot four inches as we talked about in our open. Very tall for a super middleweight. And uh, he's going to have a four-inch height advantage over Carmine Tofano. And uh, Aaron Fitchett came back up here to New York, where he's now residing. He felt he wasn't getting a lot of recognition in Virginia, and he told us this about his moves. I was in Virginia, and, and the commission was, uh, they, want, they wanted me to sign in Virginia. So basically, they were just saying, you know, if we don't sign with us, you know, we, we'll give you a draw if you sign with us. 
the draws don't have to happen. So they were, they were fights that I clearly won. Oh, well, yeah, when I stop the final, uh, it'll, it'll give me a, a lot more recognition uh, around here. You know, let, let people know I can fight and I, and I come to fight. So uh, to stop the final, it'll be good, good for my career, good career, career move. All right. There's Fitchett, and we'll see if the move pays off for him coming up here. What about his opponent, Carmine Tafano? What's Carfano's strategy, and what's he learned about Fitchett coming into this fight? He gave us these thoughts at the weigh-in today. Uh, I, I don't really know much about him. I know he, he was in the, on the Army team, boxing in the Army, and uh, I seen his last fight. He fought, uh, I can't remember his name. I think he won the gloves for a draw. I wasn't that impressed with him, but... Supposed to be pretty good, so we'll so see that. People in New York, obviously, at you know, at all my gyms, they're saying I'm, I'm going to be, you know, it's going to be an easy fight for me. But I hear that all these people are telling him that, you know, they, he's going to beat me, and so we'll see what happens. All right, quick tale of the tape on these fighters. As you can see, the record seven one and four for Fitcher Tufano, fourteen and zero. So he's got the experience. Both fighters. Out of the New York area, no big difference in weight. I think the big difference is going to be the height and reach advantage for the six foot four, Aaron Fitchett. To tell us more about these pugilists, the man with the papers in his hand, Ed Darian. From Yonkers Raceway here in Yonkers, New York, Joe DeGuardia proudly presents Star Boxing in association with Rock All Promotions. This is the featured New York rivalry in a super middleweight division scheduled for eight rounds. Our judges, Joe DiGabriel, Malvina Lathan, and James Pierce. Entering at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled eight round super middleweight bout, referee Joe Santarpia. And now boxing fans, introducing the principals. First in the red corner, wearing the multicolored trim trunks. He weighed in at an even 169 pounds. Now this young man is undefeated in 14 pro bouts with seven knockouts. From Long Island, New York, ladies and gentlemen, there is Carmine Tufano. Tufano. And his opponent in the blue corner wearing the silver trunks with the black and white trim. He weighed in at an even 170 pounds. This young man has seven wins, one loss, four draws with five knockouts. From Queens, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is the future, Aaron Fitchett. Fitchett. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Are there any questions at this time? Shake hands now, God bless you both. Six foot four. I can't, I can't, I'm, really six I can't help being in awe of it. Aaron Fitchett, 25 years of age. Tefano's 23. Tefano's pro career started back in April of 97. Fitchett started his pro career March of 98. Fitchett had the big amateur career, though. Four draws in 12 fights. It's a little odd. Well, let's see if he fights tall, this Fitchett, because six foot four, he should fight tall. As Angelo Dundee says, when you're tall, fight taller. When you're short, fight shorter. <laughs> I've heard that. It makes sense. Tefano not looking much at this in terms of rivalry. Trains a nice right over that dropping left hand of Fitchett. That could take away the whole reach advantage right there, Steve, if he drops that shot. Well, that's what Tofano has to do. Time that jab of Fitchett. And if Fitchett's going to throw lazy jabs, as he's done already in this first round, it's going to make Tofano's job much easier. Does it again. Drops the right over the top, and he's doing exactly what Steve said, timing the jab. Fitchett a, Fitch a member of the U.S. Army team. Comes out of that whole Fort Bragg connection down in North Carolina. Turned pro, though, in Virginia. Rattled off a bunch of wins, but 
Didn't feel things were going right for him down there, and they were scoring a lot of his wins draws. Amazing, four draws already in a 12-fight career. Seems to final very early in this fight. His timing fits it very well. Can be hard to do against a guy who's so much taller than you. Oh, nice combination by Tefano. Oh, and a big right over the top by Tefano. He timed it one more time, and Fitchett is in big trouble. How did he get up, Arnie? And he's cut. Fitchett right slams eye. down Joe Santarpia. I don't feel Santarpia gave him a full eight count, but he's going to stop Doesn't the fight. Matter. Well, on one hand, I don't felt Sam Tarpier ever give the, uh, the mandatory eight count, Steve. And then I think that was a little quick stoppage at that point. Well, at least it was a quick count. Unbelievable, though. We're taking a look here at the replay in our monitor. And you had picked it, you said it perfectly, Steve. He was timing those jabs of Fitchett and coming over the top with the right. As you can see, he's doing there as well. Tremendous right And there's hand. that right over Woo. the top, but I want to see if there was any count whatsoever. Let's see. Santarpia picks up the count, waves Tufano to his I don't think corner. he ever went to eight there. I think he went right to the questions at about six. Looks like you're right. No mandatory eight count. But well, what a knockdown and eventually a stoppage as Fitcher gets up, we take a look at it one more time from that angle. And I think that Fitchett was the victim of a very short count. He was not down. We never saw the eight. And we take a look, and we're going to see the... Well, we're back right now with Steve. I was hoping that we'd get to see the stoppage, which I'm sure we'll see later on here in the broadcast. We take a look at Fitchett right there, hugged by Tufano. And a devastating knockout by Carmine Tufano. And he'll remain undefeated 15-0. That's his eighth win by knockout. And just a this devastating right hand. Steve Farhood saw it early how well Tufano was timing that lazy left jab of Fitchett, which kept dropping down to his side. And certainly uh, negating the height and reach advantage that Fitchett brought with him in the ring with that six-foot, four-inch frame. Fitchett will drop down to 7, 2, and 4. That's the second time he's been stopped. We didn't have time to tell you. He had been stopped back in March of this year by Bertrand Tenjandu. That was up here, not far from here in New Jersey. And that was actually his welcome to the Northeast after leaving Virginia was that knockout stoppage. But we're going to get the official time of the stoppage from our ring announcer, Ed Darian. How's your audio doing? Speak done. And with it by Tufano. Tufano. And let's have a nice round of applause for Aaron Fitchett. Let's hear it for him. Maestro, please. All right, Carmen Tufano. Once again, as we mentioned, he improves to 15 and 0. That's his eighth knockout. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring.
tonight, Carmen Tafano. Once again, as we mentioned, he improves to 15 and 0. That's his eighth knockout. And Fitchett will be dropping down to 7, 2, and 4. Second time he's been stopped. What does Stefano think of his performance? Where's he going to go off something like this? And we thought the distance was going to be to his advantage. Well, Steve Farhood's got Carmine Stefano in the ring. He'll tell us. Stefano, if you keep scoring knockouts like that, you're going to be a national name, not just a local name. That's what we're looking for. I'm ready to step up, fight whoever they put in front of me. I'm ready to go. You ever hit anybody that hard before? I actually, uh, I knocked somebody out for 15 minutes one time. Whoa. So uh, that was a good shot, though. It seemed very early to Arnie Rosenthal and I call in the fight that you were able to time his jab and you were able to time your right hand, and his height advantage really was out the window. That's my favorite uh, thing to do. I, it's the first thing I always look for, watch the jab. A lot of people bring it back low, and I just counter over with a right hand, left hook every time. Did you hear that this guy was 6'4"? He didn't seem 6'4", no, did he? No, I, <laughs> I heard that he was tall. I knew he had a long reach and was tall. That's really all I knew about him, that he was in the Army and fought in the Army and stuff. But Yeah, he had a good amateur background. You right. took care of him. 15-0 and 0 now, what kind of pace would you like to be moved from here on? I want to fight. I want to get in the top 10. I want to fight whoever they can put in front of me. I just want to fight. So you're ready to crack, I'm take a shot at a top guy? I'm ready to fight. I spar the best fighters in the world. I spar Aaron Davis every day, David Telesco. I'm, I'm ready to fight. Carmine Tofano, if that fight was any indication, you are ready for that. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks we'll go back to Arnie. Thank you. We said he came to swing on the star, and Carmen Tofano did just that. A devastating knockout and a rising star here on Star Boxing. He improves to 15-0, and 0, as we mentioned. One of the best knockouts we've seen thus far in the series, and another stellar night of, of matchups. Kudos to our matchmakers, as always. So for my partner, Steve Farhood, I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. Good night, Kerry. I'm coming home.